Hello, this is Blaine Gray for Plaster Room for Beginners. In today's video, we're going to talk about our tech ceilings. As you know, this is a massive subject. I've had a load of questions about this, and now is the time to finally get a video under the way. I've got a clip of me sorting it. I'll show you everything you need to do. I'll show you the difference between Nartex ceiling and normal ceiling. But before we start, I need to get a few things out of the way. First thing to consider is, there is quite a few differences with Artex. Obviously, it's a raised surface, it's got texture to it. So we've got to treat it differently to as if it was a normal standard ceiling. And obviously, the process is going to be slightly different, which is what we're going to go through in this video. There's a new few things I need to cover before we start. First off is safety. Old, old Artex ceilings contain asbestos. So the way they used to make it before the 1980s, it contained white asbestos within the mix. So when they were plastering it, it was fine at the time, but when it comes to us scraping it back, we're going to expose ourselves to the asbestos. Everyone knows how bad it is. Everyone knows it's a no-go. It's not a good thing. And basically, any house before the 1980s had a high, high chance that the Artex contained asbestos. So the first thing you want to ask is, how old is the house you're working on? Are you able to scrape the high spots off? Or is it a case where you have to attack it in a different way where you have to potentially overboard the ceiling or put a thickness of bonding on first before you skim it? In the case I'm going to show you, it was actually 1985. So my instance, the house was okay for Artex, apparently. This is what I'm told. I took a chance. And in the video, I'm going to treat it as if this Artex ceiling was fine. So this is the process I'm going to show you. I scraped mine back. Again, I'll show you in the video. But that's the first thing you need to consider. Second thing is the timings are slightly different when you're dealing with Artex. Because there's a thickness, you're going to apply the plaster thicker than what you would do if it was a standard ceiling. This is what we're going to deal with, and I'll show you further down the line. But the second thing to consider is that timings totally change. Not drastically, but the first four stages of plastering, the timings change. I'll go into grave detail, so make sure you watch the video, make sure you keep up. I know how important it is, people really struggle with this concept. So make sure you watch and you get the sense of it as we're going. Um, so the last thing to consider is flatness. Obviously with our text, you've got a bit of undulation it was a bit of a shoddy way of doing things, to be honest. Obviously, no one likes it. The last thing we need to consider is make sure you get that ceiling nice and flat. So I'm going to show you the number one tool I use to make sure it's flat, to make sure I've got a nice finish. And at the end, you'll understand and uh, I'll walk you through the exact same process I use to get a nice flat ceiling from Artex. So let's go into it. At the end, I'll give you a chance to expand on what you've learned, but basically, let's go through it. Let's learn how to deal with Artex, and I'll show you exactly what you need to do. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, please like it. Please subscribe, and obviously, let us know what you think. Leave the comments below. Any questions, let us know. We'll get back to you. Nice one. Cheers. Okay, here's the number one most important stage to all this, and that's preparation. What I've got there is a tub of PVA glue. I've mixed it with water and the uh, the mix is two parts water to one part PVA. And this part simple, all we're doing is literally lashing the PVA onto the Artex. I've got the walls as you can see. I've got it on ceilings. You put it everywhere where there's a coating of Artex. And you need to do this because this primes the surface ready for when you're plastering. If you don't do this, it'll basically dry the plaster up, it'll crack it. And make it go off too fast and you'll have a nightmare. So make sure you give it a good application of PVA glue. And what we do is we apply two coats of this. You apply the first coat, wait for it to dry, and then we apply the second coat. So there's always two coats of PVA and it's two parts water to one part PVA. That's the solution of the mix. So that's what we're getting to. That's the first stage. And the next stage we've got to start preparing the Artex itself. So this is the Artex of Doom, checking it out there. All we've got to do is take away the high spots. Give it a little scrape. 
Now what we're going to do is another coat of PVA. Always two coats of PVA, nothing more. And that's it. Do that all the way around and you're ready to go. So that's it prepped. We do, now we wait for the second coat of PVA to dry. This has been applied, the second coat's been put onto the ceiling. We've got rid of any high spots of the Artex, we've scraped that back. Now we've got free reign where we can actually start applying a plaster. And what you want, you want your plaster, you don't want it to be wet, you definitely don't want it to be runny. So make sure you, when you mix it, you mix it with a bit of thickness. If you're not sure about how to mix plaster, or actually any stages of the plastering, wait till the end of the video. I'll make sure and I'll allow you to get an opportunity where you can learn the full process of plastering. So watch to the end, I'll give you an opportunity. For now I'll show you the process, give you a little rundown on how it works. You can watch this and then we can progress on this later on after the video. So what we want is we want a relatively fixed mix of plaster. You don't want it running because what you need is to cover the high spots of the Artex. As you can see, what we're doing is putting a thick coat over, and what we've got to make sure is we cover all of the Artex at this stage. So as you can see, it's taken a few trowels in one area just for me to cover it. And that's just because of the density and the texture of the Artex itself. Our aim is to make sure we cover it all right now, and make sure we get it all on. So again, we, all we're doing is troweling, uh, troweling plaster on as flat as we can. Make sure we cover all the high spots as we've said. Keep a nice close trowel to the ceiling and don't overload your hook. The last thing you want is to be dropping all the plaster down. You just see me drop a little bit then. And in a video you see me make a massive mistake actually in a bit. So I'll show you exactly why I'm not to do it. So what you're doing is just make sure we're trying to cover all the Artex at this stage. That's the main aim here. Covering any of the texture, getting all the texture out of the way. We just want a nice thick coating of plaster on the ceiling. So then when it comes to the later stages, the hard work's been done. So we don't have to worry about filling in the Artex later on down the line. We want to get this done right now. So that's that. Now I'm going to introduce the secret weapon. Okay, so the secret weapon I'm going to use is the Ox Speed Skim. This is the best tool I've used for flattening a big area in a short amount of time. It's obviously a bigger, a bigger trowel size than what you would use usually. This is, I think, 40 inches, so 1.2 meters, and it's ideal for flattening the Artex ceiling. What you've got in front of you here, it makes sure you flatten. It pushes the plaster within to the Artex, gives it a nice flat um, mat consistency, and not only that, but it just makes the job a lot easier. Um, so what you've got to do is what I'd recommend is using one of these to make sure you flatten it. If you're interested, I've left the link in the video down below in the video description. And it just takes the pressure and takes the takes the you know the hard use of get making sure that the plaster is flat. This just does it all for you. So that's that. And the one thing I want to discuss is before we apply the second coat of plaster, what I recommend is you wait for the plaster to take up a little bit. You let it do its thing, don't push it. So before you apply a second coat, as you can see the Artex there, it looks so bad that ceiling, it looks shocking. But don't worry, this is what it's going to look like. We've just filled in all the holes. Now it's time to apply the second coat of plaster. And like I said, you just want to make sure that you're applying it on top of a, a hard surface. So the plaster, the first coat, you want to make sure it's basically toughened up. It's not gone completely solid, but you need it to have a nice back into it. You don't want it to be completely solid, yet you don't want it to be wet. Because what will happen if you apply your second coat, you're going to move the first coat of plaster, and it's going to cause a bit of friction in between the two coats. This will create bubbles upon your finish. So what I recommend is you leave it to dry, and you make sure it's not touch solid, but when you do touch the first coat, it's it's uh, it's definitely not moving and the plaster's not moving. That way, when you apply your second coat of plaster, you've got a nice solid base to work on. Um, when you're applying your second coat, it's the exact same process. You're just making sure that you're pushing the plaster into the first coat. And you again, you're still applying quite a thick coat because what you're doing now is we're getting over the texture. Now we're putting a nice base on top of that first coat of plaster. This is going to be... 
the colour looks so pretty. This is what's going to make the ceiling look nice. It's going to make it look complete. It'll make it look a lot, a lot more consistent. And this is what's going to give that ceiling a nice finish. The first coat for me is always the foundation. Filling in the Artex. Getting rid of the grooves. Getting rid of the texture. The second coat is where the magic comes in. This is where it starts to look like something. So same process. Again, make sure your plaster is relatively thick because we are going to be applying it thicker than, say, if you're pl plastering onto plasterboard. And just take your time, try and get it right. As you can see, I'm working against um, against the other way. So basically, I was trialing it from the left side. Now I'm trialing it from the right. And just test, test your trialing positions. Try things out because um, what you will find is there is quite a lot of undulation with an Artex ceiling. Um, so if you go against yourself when you're plastering, you, that way, if there's no grooves, you know that you've got it pretty flat. Again, the speed skim has taken a hard work out of that for me. It's done a lot of the work for me. Um, and it just makes it a lot easier because Artex is generally quite a tough, a tough thing to deal with. So that's when I recommend you put your second coat on. Let the first coat take up a little bit, then you apply your second coat. Now here's another massive tip that I'm going to give you and I'm going to show you right now. Big tip, always wear goggles, get plaster in your eye, messes you up. Always clean it up after it, wear goggles, don't do what I did. Cool. So there you go, always wear goggles, gets plaster in your eye, it ruins you, trust me. It's absolutely hanging. So, we've got the first and second coat on. We've done that, we've got it flattened with a speed skim in between. Now it's time to flatten the second coat, and this is called closing in. And this is where the rest of the process for plastering is the exact same. We've filled the Artex, we've got rid of the texture, we've got the second coat on. Now everything should be right in the world. From now on, this stage of plastering is the exact stage as if you were plastering any other normal wall. All I'm doing is flattening the plaster, keeping the trowel close to the, close to the wall when I'm troweling. You don't have to wait like we did for the first coat to take up. As soon as you've got the second coat on, you can give it a flatten with a speed skim or flatten it with your trowel. Timings are the exact same now. We're literally just taking a time, making sure we're getting it flat. Now all the Artex should be gone. You won't shouldn't see any texture. Everything's covered. And this is now time to get it nice, flat and smooth. And it's going to be the end of this video. But if you're not sure on a process of plastering, um, welcome feel free to join our welcome course it's a free course from plaster of beginners we'll show you how to plaster a wall we'll show you how to plaster a ceiling show you the full process we'll show you how to mix the plaster we'll show you which tools you'll need we'll show you the full process so by the end it's basically an email course where we send you emails and we'll send you videos all the way through showing you exactly what you need to do by the end you'll be efficient enough to plaster your own wall um, You'll have the knowledge and hopefully you'll have the confidence to try it for yourself. As you can see in the video, I'm trialing up close to the wall. This is something we teach within the welcome course as well. So if you're not sure on a process plastering, sign up to a welcome course. And if you have got Artex, watch the beginning of the video and then watch the tutorials we'll show you later down the line. So that's it. That's the process of plastering the Artex ceiling. All you have to think about is make sure your timings are right. Everything's looking good. Um, as you can see the finished product is there now You'll see what it looks like when it's finished and you know This is this is Fairly simple all you got to do is make sure your preparations right and you spend a bit of time make sure your timings are bang on So that's the video from me plaster of beginners Blaine Gray. Thanks for watching if you like this video Please like it and if you do like it even more, please subscribe would really appreciate it and sign up to the welcome course. It's a great course. It's free. All email based. All the videos are free. And get plastering. Thanks a lot. See you in the next one. Cheers.